what's up douches all right wow okay so i'm getting the lay of the land on soul i went to the bank or the atm and i got a bunch of uh, korean dollars i got a bunch of wands this is like a hundred wands or a hundred hundred dollars worth of wands or whatever the fuck each one of these is like ten dollars is the way i view it ten thousand is like ten bucks uh this is probably more than i need for the arc card bullshit then i can open up a bank and all that shit this they ran it oh man these things are so good they're out of them i'm gonna have to the next stop after i make the appointment not before i go to the appointment is going to be to go find a grocery store which i think one is close by because the 7-Eleven ran out of ham sandwiches that are pre-made, so it's that or eat that crap shit. Look, I want to explain something while I'm getting this set up. Hold on a second. What the fuck is this? So, hold on. Alright, hold on. I'm setting things up. <sighs> Stupid. Internet's so slow in Korea. Okay, so, I want, well, actually, let me preface this by saying something. Uh, look, you all are basically pussies. Look, I was trained by a Korean. Uh, uh, fucking Jun Ri, Korean. He knew, like, the, the South Korean general who, like, worked with, like, the American generals in the Korean War. Jun Ri was trained by him. I can't remember his name right now. All right? So, one of the things that... That like if you wanted to train with Jun Jun Ri, he made you do those like speeches and you know things about how like you're gonna like use your. I forgot. Oh man, he's gonna get so mad at me. There was like a thing where you would be like you had to do like the hand motions and all that bullshit. And at each hand motion was like you were like like uh, fighting is a secret. I will not tell anyone. Use it only for defense and all that bullshit. Um, he like made you do all that bullshit. So, oh uh, if. All of the Koreans are basically... I'm going to tell it what it is. Stop acting beta. Why Why is your generation... Why is your... Like, no one's having kids. Because the women are mad at you. And all that bullshit. Dude, like... I've met a... Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I think I got hit on by like a 50-year-old Korean bitch today. She's like 10 years older than me. And she was really hot. But she was acting like a 20-year-old. Because it seems like everyone in Korea is just like 20 years later and all that bullshit. Because Stephanie actually she's a toddler still, or a fucking teenager. Anyways, look. After I get the art card shit done, the remainder of my time in Korea, I'm going to be training. Because the way you give back to the community is you teach. So, let me explain some things. Now, the kicking shit, I was never too good at. I was trying to learn the kicking shit to block kicks so I could get in position to punch. Because I'm more of a puncher. But... So I've taken some of these books, some of these things from the from the book from Bo uh, Olympia Boxing, which was right below June Ree's first school in America, and I've turned them into interpret some boxing combos and shadow boxing drills, and then it goes into all this. But let me go down to some really cool shit. Bouncing jab. Practice bouncing on your toes. That's why you run on your toes, not on the balls of your feet. Run on your toes. Don't let your heels touch. Because when you're bouncing, 
and all that bullshit, that's how you can jab more. Circle left and jab. Circle left and right and jab. Circle left, stop one, two. Alternate between moving left and right in a circular motion while throwing jabs. This distort this dis dis orients your opponent and may maintain your balance. Now, here's something that they won't tell you and all that bullshit. So, one of the tricks you do in boxing, why you do things, like look, if, if you're punching, see like there, right? I'm touching the camera, okay? So, punch, I can't touch the camera. If I lean forward a little bit, I can punch the camera and I'm touching beyond the camera, okay? So when you see boxers do shit like this, they're, they're trying to fuck with your depth perception. Because if you're like bouncing around and you're shaking down and someone's throwing punches at you and they're like coming right here and you lean forward and punch them, without moving your body, you just lean a little bit. You smack him in the face, he's not going to know what happened. He thought he, you, I can't punch you and then you just punched me? Leaning just a little bit. The other thing about that, when I was saying how you got to learn how to use your left so you can learn how to use your right. What I mean by that is, just like I was showing there, like it was written down, you want to pop those jabs. This is also why 80% of your punches are, are going to come from your non-dominant hand, all right? Pop that jab. So you're there, and you can even do one of these things where you're like using your shoulder to like guard your chin. So you're, you're kind of like this while you're like trying to get into position, right? Because then if they go to do a hook, that's in the way. And then if they do like a headshot, you're, you're, when you punch, they're not going to be able to hit your head because you're blocking it with your, with your shoulder. Anyways, so what you should do, this is like shit that you should learn before you even like the reason why boxing is dying now, especially in America is because they don't do this. They want you to lift weights, uh, do some sprints and go in the ring, but there's a science to boxing. So what they used to do back in the day, back when boxing was a school first round, you throw some jabs, right? You circle left, throw some jabs, circle right, throw some jabs, right? Whole time you're like splitting the fighter. You're like getting into positions, slips and bobs. Round two comes out. The guy thinks you're going to throw a bunch of jabs, right? Throw, throw a triple double jab to the left. One, two, three. A double, triple jab, or... No, that's uh, too many jabs. Throw a tri tri triple jab to the left. One, two, three. Double jab to the right. One, two. Then when the guy's not sure what to do, you step in and you throw four right in a row. Throw thro four crosses right in a row. So what it should look like is one, two, three, one, two, and then you step in, boom, 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 and then you come right back. They never see it coming. That's why you circle and throw that jab. This should be married to your face. While you're throwing those jabs and you've got your shoulder there blocking, this should never move. Because if you fuck up, that's going to keep you from getting knocked out. They have a button. Oh my god, I got a little lightheaded right there from doing that. There's a button on your chin right here. That is the, uh, uh, the vein. It's like a pressure point. The vein or the, the artery flow of blood to your brain is right here. That's why if you knock them in the chin, you can get a knockout, right? What Coach Jones and uh, uh, June Ree made us do all the time was like take pieces of wood or June Ree would use bricks and put like your brick on your chin, all right? And then Coach Jones would take it to the next level. He would have you like take like a table or lift the table with your chin. And if you pass out, it's because your chin is weak. Also, wearing, wearing glasses, believe it or not, wearing glasses helps you take punches better. Because the other one, there's like a vein right here for your nose. And if you wear glasses all the time, you're getting constant pressure on the nose. So that way, you'll be less likely to get knocked out or have your nose broken. That's why you should be wearing glasses as much as possible. Anyways, that's one of the tricks you only pick up from fighting. Don't go fight. But if you but if you are in a position where you have to defend yourself and the other person look strong doesn't necessarily mean better they can be bigger than you and stronger than you you just circle left circle right step in boom 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 and the reason like the thing is right you keep circling they're thinking you're going to be back so they're like okay this guy's defensive once you fuck with his vision a little bit then you that way step right in one two three four and not just like pop you have to think boom 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 then step right back and keep that chin there the, the only time this leaves your face is when you step in and the left covers now one two three four come right back that's that's a boxing trick that's what i'm gonna be doing while i'm in korea all right peace out